Hey guys, coming to you live from Thor Broadcast. This is Mark. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do an ATSC to IP application uh, using our IRDV3. Recently, we've had a slew of inquiries and questions about how to do this for various applications, whether it's a ski resort, a hotel, or a casino, whatever it might be. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys briefly how to do this. So to log in, you just use the NMS GUI. Uh, is obviously the IP address is right there, which is standard on this particular unit. And you can log in. I'm going to go ahead and let this load, but before we start, I'm going to go ahead and go to config and do a factory reset so I can show you guys with a clean slate how to set this up and how to use it. So it's pretty basic as far as the status shows. As you can see, there's nothing going on right now until we change a couple things. So right now I'm going to pull in a new ATSC stream <clears throat> and to show you guys how to do that, uh, there's this really cool site uh, called nocable.org. So if you just go to it.org, uh, you can go ahead and check out wherever you guys are via zip code. We're in Torrance, California. So it'll just pull up all the stations that are local here from CBS, NBC, CW, ABC. Uh, so this unit is going to not only pull in the RF channel, but it's going to pull in all the sub programs too. So if you see a sub channel in there, or K KTLA has three sub channels, it's going to ingest all those and convert all those into IP streams for you. Or if you're doing multicast, it'll send multicast. Uh, just to be, we're going to go ahead and use NBC here, which is 602. So we're actually going to use frequency 605 to hit the middle part of the frequency in a six megahertz step. Go ahead and click setup. And the unit is going to scan right away looking for some data. And there you go. It's showing some data. The signal quality is okay. And be careful about the quality. You're going to want to hit at least 30%. Uh, this over the air antenna I have hooked up to the unit is literally just sitting on the windowsill uh, in my office. So it's nothing special. It's a really cheap and easy to use antenna you can find pretty much anywhere online. Um, and here you can see that we're already pulling in a good data, data rate. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set it up. The decoder is set up for tuner, but the output mode we want to use IP. So I'm going to set it up to the MUX function. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, there's a lot of different various components in here to play around with. Um, and it's fairly simple. It's an intuitive GUI. Uh, I think our guys have done a really good job designing this. Uh, here's the MPTS multicast stuff. The MUX options are in here. Uh, that you can always pull in uh, and then we're going to show you the SPTS I'm gonna enable this I'm gonna get the streams rolling I think I have to mux it first because it's I forgot I clicked mux in the beginning so we're gonna get the mux rolling and right now it's just gonna pull all the different RF uh, data that's actually going into the unit right now and again, I just have a simple over-the-air antenna connected right into the back of the IRD. This V3 IRD uh, is specifically made just for ATSC. They are RF modulation dependent if you are going to order them. Uh, and here you can see that we have some programs. And we're going to send them over. And you can see that there are going to be two different programs here. Okay. And so now when we go back to SPTS, here they are. Okay, so this should be the first program. We're going to set this up for 19, which is what we saw on the status screen. And you can set up your different ports, UDP, RDP. Uh, we're going to leave it on 1001. It's simple enough. I'm going to set this one up too so I can show you guys how that will look. Make sure you click Enable. Set. And it should be rolling. So to check, I'm going to use a very basic program. I'm going to swing it over here to the other side. And this is, as you can see, just simply VLC player. And we're going to just hit in a one. And immediately it's pulling in. What do we have here? Kelly Clarkson show. And you can see the UDP was right there. And it's immediately going to start pulling in your channel. You can see, I have no idea what's going on in the show. Not necessarily my cup of tea. 
but as we were, I'm going to show you now the next stream, which was simply ended in 02. So I've been teaching for six years, and it's always a challenge every... Um... And this was the sub-channel, or minor, if you will, on the RF channel that we're now streaming in. And realistically, what that means is that uh, when you actually pick up over the air channels, you're going to pick up more than just one channel. That's usually how it's set. Uh, and this is something that TV stations will do. It's easier for them to send out multiple channels. Here you can see it has two on Fox. Um, and it works pretty much with every single one of them. So it's just a quick and easy way to pull in off air channels, convert them to IP addresses. In this case, we did UDP. You can also do RTP. You can send multicast. And this particular unit is actually pretty great, the V3, because you can actually input ASI, IP, or RF, and you can output um, uh, ASI, IP, uh, and a couple other different things. So uh, it's actually a really cool unit to play around with. Again, you can just mix and match all the different channels you want. And again, guys, make sure that you're matching your data rates consistently and looking at your quality signal. And I'll show you guys here on the website. You go to thorbroadcast.com, scroll down to IRD, and the unit I'm showing you right now is actually this one right here. And as you can see, it has a slew of input and output options on the back. I just put the RF uh, right in the back right here and RF in, IP out through the FE. And that NMS that I was using, this GUI, is connected. And make sure when you are using the units, they are in different subnets. The NMS and the IP output have to be on different subnets. So if you guys have any questions or like some more information about these, you can always reach out to us. Uh, all of our information is here on the website. All right. Thanks for stopping by and hopefully you guys learned something new today.